Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. How would you refresh view to update the metadata? So if uh, the uh, base uh, table definition is changed, the view does not uh, change the definition automatically. So we have to refresh uh, the view so it can capture those newly added columns to it. So let's go to SSMS and perform a demo now what is happening here i'm creating a table and uh, i'm creating this table in the sales database so it is called the dbo employee so i have three columns id first name last name so let me create this table now let's insert a couple of records in this table so we have a first name and last name and uh, as id is identity we do not have to provide the values for that so run this one next part we are creating a view and we are using select uh, asterisk that means uh, give us all the columns that might not be a good practice uh, uh, i recommend using the column name but there could be scenarios uh, where you need to use the asterisk so you are selecting all the columns uh, from the employee table so view uh, we the uh, the definition or a ddl statement uh, this is how it will be create view and the view name then you put as and then uh, you use your select statement so that can be single select uh, with multiple joins um, but in our case we have single table so we are not joining with any other table so we create the view here now once the view is created uh, you can click here and then go to the views and here we will see our view so we have created the view successfully so view is uh, an object uh, that can uh, be used uh, to select the data from uh, multiple tables uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, an extra layer on the top of the table so we do not have to use the same queries over and over uh, and uh, we can put those uh, set of queries together and uh, create object called view so we can run uh, and uh, uh, nobody would know that what tables we are using uh, in that uh, view so uh, here now the view is created if we select the data from the view it should return us two records as our table has two records it has id first name last name columns and only two records here now let's go and alter our base table for the view so we are uh, altering table db employee and we are adding a new column called street address so if i will add that ad column execute it now let's go back and check our table so if we check our table we have uh, the new column added to it now let's go back to the view and check if the view is uh, reading this new column as we have used uh, select asterisk from the table so it should uh, automatically uh, update the definition but let's see if it did or did not so run this one and we can see that the view did not update the definition so what we have to do we have to refresh the view definition so we will be using execute sp underscore refresh view store procedure and we have to provide the view name so once we refresh uh, the definition of this view by using this uh, store procedure the newly added uh, column will be available to us in the view so let's refresh the view now if we run uh, the view it should bring us uh, the newly added column so we had street address available to us now consider a scenario where we are removing a column from the table so i'm dropping a column street address uh, from a dbo employee table let's consider dropping this one now the column is removed uh, and uh, let's take a look on the view if it is returning us some records so when we run the view we get this error saying view or function dbo vw employee has more column names specified than column defined so we do not have that column in the table street address is removed but view is still looking for that so that's why it is thrown as this error so what we have to do we have to refresh the definition of the view one more time and then run our select query for the view it should work just fine now we can see that the column is removed and our uh, view is working perfectly fine so either case you are adding a new column to the base uh, table or removing a column 
from the base table or tables, uh, you need to refresh your, your view to provide uh, uh, the updated uh, uh, column information or defini de definition information. So I have uh, put all the scripts on sqla.blogspot.com and I will also put in the description of this video. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.